Okay, so we need to take coal from here over to the steel mill. Then we need to take uh, iron ore from here over to the steel mill and we need to take planks from here over to the factory and then steel from here to the factory and then we need to make logs from here over to here. Now normally we just have to use their old rickety roads and that's okay you could do that but now that we have a little more revenue we might be able to improve these roads some for our vehicles. Okay so we'll start with the log ride. Welcome to Total Corruption Gaming with your host, Eric Talent87, to this, J.J. McGillicuddy's Transporting Tycoon Empire. In this episode, we join J.J. McGillicuddy and company as they begin to set up the transporting network that will ensure the, the, the success of the Westinghouse's new alternating electric current machines. Let's get started. Okay, the road doesn't look that much different, but it's a lot more level. So that's going to, uh, in real life, that would save you a, a lot of gas mileage. Okay, we don't need that bow. Whoops. Now this is something that's more a lot. This is cost. We can do. We can do. We can set up the line without remaking the roads like I'm doing here, and that's what you're going to have to do if you don't have two trains bringing in revenue. But since we did this, this just got a lot more efficient. Okay, so here is our crossroads. Okay, let's put on our contour map here. Okay, so this will go. This will go off like this. Okay, this is crossroads. So now let's get our terminals. Make sure they're cargo terminals, not passenger terminals. Okay, and then we're gonna the large. I use the larger ones for outgoing, so this is going to be our outgoing terminal. Okay, and one more small one here for the logs. The log ride is about to begin. Okay, so I put an extra, a couple extra terminals here, and you'll see why. It keeps things uh, kind of clean. Now, if I just use one incoming terminal, then the logs would have to turn the corner and go around and deliver to here, or the iron shavings would have to turn the corner, go around and deliver to here, and that's a lot of distance. So as we did it, as this stands now, uh, neither has to do that. The two lines will not entangle one another. And uh, it's going to keep the network a lot cleaner. Okay, got to watch our money. See, we, do, we even with all that modification, we've still been doing it, making good money. Okay, logs come first because this guy can already start making the logs into planks. So, log ride. Okay, load if available. Load any. All right, full load any. Let's buy some trucks, or in this case, um, American horse cart. One, two. And we'll do the log ride. Okay, now new line from here to here. Full load. We'll go this 
iron transfer iron to uh, wood woody cross road okay okay don't want to lose any more time here because we got plenty of money well, not plenty, but we got money. Eh, we got some money. Okay. All right. Just like that. Okay, but there's a hill here, and that's the kind of this. Whoops. And that's kind of what ends up being expensive to go through. Let's see, start cutting into that. It's another expensive run right here. Got to fill that. Got to cut that one and fill that one. Whoops. way, but uh, we won't mess with that for now. Okay, so this is so we can get uh, this next line, the iron ore going. So we got the iron ore going to the Woody's Crossroads, which is the Woody Crossroad area here. It's a new line. Go here. Oops. Go from there. Add station here. Okay, full load, and we call this the long haul. Okay, long haul. That will transfer everything from Woody's Crossroads to the steel mill. So we get a horse here, we go one, two. Okay, we're going to put this on iron ore to the crossroads. And then we're going to go one, two, and we're going to put it on long haul. Now right now it's only transferring the iron ore. However, as soon as we connect this to the factory over here, it'll start transferring the planks as well. Okay, that's to bring in the coal, and this is to send everything, this is to send everything down to the factory. Keep watching our budget, keep an eye on our budget there. Okay, so now we get a small one for all our shipping and receiving, and we'll put it right here. Okay, now let's make some new lines. New line from here to here. Okay, we'll go from, this will be the mill to factory transfer. Okay, full load. And we're going to put in a new depot down here since it would take a while for the trucks to get from the other end of the line up to here. Oops. Okay, we still see we're doing good on money. Uh, the two trains bringing in the money has kept us kept us uh, floating really well. Okay, so we'll use in this case we're going to use the old road because I think it'd be way a little uh, way too expensive to uh, rebuild it. But we will bring it in on this side of the town so our trucks don't have to go through the town. Okay, no, we're not. We're not going to spend that much money on it. There we go. Maybe 
Just like that, okay? Yes, we'll do it just like that. Okay, they don't let us use boats in this level, so that's that's fine, but we're not going to use that. Okay, so now, new line. Oops, forgot to put an outgoing terminal here. So make sure it's a cargo terminal. Okay, add station from here to here. Okay, we'll load if available. This will be our coal to mill. Okay, very good. New line. We already got that. What do we need here? Oh, we need the uh, last line. I use the big ones for outgoing. That's how I can kind of tell them apart from a far way away. Okay, this isn't the best coverage. Let's see, how about here? That's better than that. Let's bulldoze this. That's much better. Okay. Okay, and our last is from here to here. So this is uh, machines to town. Or market if you want. Okay, full load if necessary, uh, uh, if available. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so let's get our horse-drawn carts. One, two. Okay, long hauls covered, woody, woody crossroads. Okay, let's try, uh, yeah, the steel mill. Then we need one, two for our coal. Coal to mill. And then we just need one to take the goods into town. Okay, so now our lines are all complete. We have a fully functioning line now. Here's our beautiful horses. Now, it's tempting to put more passenger carts on this train because of all the passengers. <gasps> Don't do it! I mean, you can, but you really don't make much more money. 70 is about the magic number. You put more, a lot of times the train is not filled to capacity. So 70 is about right. Uh, put a faster locomotive is better. Okay. Come on, guys, make us some good money. Okay, planks. And planks. See, so they're bringing the planks in from this transfer point here. So. And you want to remember to put this last terminal in town and actually set up to haul tools from the factory into the town. Because if you don't do that, it won't count. It, The machines produced are the machines that get transferred through your station to the market. So even if the factory produces them, if they're just sitting at the factory, it doesn't count them as produced. So just little FYI there. Okay, go to depot. Let's slow time down so we don't lose much. This guy is really nice to uh, run later on in the game. One, two. Yeah. Whoops, that's it. Good. Okay, we were able to build our whole network, and we were able to add three carts. That is good budgeting. And our 70-passenger train is not going to get interfered with. And neither is our coal train, so. And he's just going to, and then we'll put it back on uh, normal speed. We'll put it back on four times the speed. And there we go. So let's check on our line here. Uh... See, we got plenty of coal waiting. Why don't we put two more trucks on the coal here? Check our budget. Yeah, our budget's doing okay. 
Okay, one, two. Let's go to the cold mill. Cold mill, yeah. Okay. Let's check down here. Okay, once again, the long haul is being out delivered by just about everyone. Uh, the logs could, the logs can still use two more trucks, I think. So let's put two more trucks on the log ride. Okay, watch our budget here. And one, two on the long haul. When you do it in segments like this, kind of slowly building up, you see what needs to build up. It saves you a lot of money in the end. Uh, if you do happen to put too many trucks on one line, since everything is centralized, you can just take some of these trucks and put them on the long haul if the logs run out. Uh, this iron ore isn't producing that much, so right now two trucks are keeping it busy, but if they started to wait too much, we could put some of them on to other lines that are more busy. So it's really nice having all these, uh, having these centralized stations because everything can kind of be shifted around and uh, for steady deliveries. And they make for a much more steady income. Haha, <laughs> check it out. Five five forty nine K. Yeah. Uh it makes a couple more deliveries like that. We'll be able to afford the What is this? The Mongol. See it made five forty nine, so it basically two deliveries plays for a Mongol. Hmm. You know, I have half a mind. We have the money. Let's bring this. Let's bring it, man. Whoops. Let's, let's bring our game here. Production has got off to a satisfying start, but a bitter struggle for dominance in the electrical energy business is raging between George Westinghouse and his adversary, Thomas Edison. While our friend is making every effort to advance the study of alternating current, Mr. Edison favors direct current. Meanwhile, the humble minds of the people fear electricity in either form. They consider it the work of the devil. We'll ensure a glorious victory for our friend George Westinghouse in the battle against his adversary. Let's convince the people of the right system, as whoever wins the race in this war of currents will control the entire market. Okay. Come on, baby. There we go. Yikes. That is, you know what, that's way too much. That's much better. Okay, the right ne technology. Okay, so we gotta help everything, uh, help people, change people's mind about electricity. Convince them the devil is not in the electricity. Yeah, even with that big old hill, they've changed over, so this must be a lot faster. Okay, so let's uh, start with the North Shore. North Shore. What do we do? 
A gigantic generator that generates such gigantic sparks probably needs to be fed gigantic amounts of coal. Our business partner's chief tinkerer, a certain Nikola Tesla, needs tons of coal to keep the generators running for his alternating current experiments. It's urgent. What do you know? We already have it all hooked up. Okay. So that's what we need to do for Mr. Tesla on the north. Let's go to uh, Eastern Pittsburgh. Thomas Edison is entertaining sinister plans to publicly discredit Westinghouse's alternating current system. Oh, no. According to the rumors, a certain Harold Brown is conducting obscure experiments in his secret laboratory somewhere in Pittsburgh to bring alternating current into disrepute. Perhaps the local residents know more. Mm -hmm. Let's go talk to the local residents. A local resident has told of a crowd that was supposedly gathered around Dr. Brown, who was killing stray dogs with alternating current in order to prove its dangerous nature. Most stray dogs are said to be found in Southside. Okay. That devilish Dr. Brown is growing bolder. He's now said to be working on a chair that kills people using electric shocks. The only thing that can help is an act of sabotage. His laboratory must be destroyed. It is said to be located on the northern bank of the river. Now see, you know, we need to uh, build for our track spur here, and so we need to bulldoze this place, yeah. <laughs> That's what we in the business call the old Pittsburgh punch. <laughs> Just hire a bulldozer and run his, <laughs> run his laboratory over. Okay, so uh, what's left? I think it's uh, over here in Southside. Oh, yes! Large parts of the population still fear electricity. We must convince these people that electricity is no threat, but a blessing to mankind by providing them with a new mode of transport that will delight them all. <laughs> delight them all. Uh... Okay, last time I did this, it kind of cut off the road here, so we're just gonna connect this road. Sheesh, come on, lay back already. Like that, just in case it happens again. Okay. So we will get a tram terminal. And I'll put it here. Now we need to upgrade the road twice. So we gotta get our little magic wand out and say tram tracks, yes. Okay. Now this isn't electricity, this is just tram tracks. See, it counts now that I've made these, uh, because I made these bus stations earlier, it's actually counting those as uh, people transported by electric tram, but it's we haven't transported them by electric tram, we just transported them by regular bus. So that's just a glitch in the mission, uh, it is a little bit of an exploit. I suppose you could use that, but we didn't mean to exploit it. What we did is we set up these bus stations so there's actually people at them. And now that we're setting up the electric system here, those bus stations already have a passenger pool that will be using them. So now we'll buy two trams. And we will say new line. Okay, and we will go from here to here. Okay, call this the tram trans line. Okay, so they're off doing the trams. Let's take a look at how they look. This has been JJ McGillicuddy's Transporting Tycoon Empire on Total Corruption Gaming with your host, Eric Talon 87 
Join us again next time as J.J. McGillicuddy and company continue to fight the fierce competition to bring to market their brand new alternating current electrical motors. See you there.